Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Last time we went through the rest of Sonic's story, and now we're going to continue here and start Tails' story. So let's do this! Alright, now, the uh, first, like, five minutes or so are just going to be a bunch of cutscenes, so, yeah, we're just going to kind of watch for a little bit. Uh, nothing too crazy going on here, like, um... This is just pretty much like uh, tells his perspective from like the Star Sonic story, and then after that is pretty much the same cutscene after Emerald Coast. So. Uh oh, what's this? There's really not a lot I can say about this. No! <laughs> Well, it says we're in a cutscene, I just, I, I want to, like, clarify, when I talked about, like, the, the voices compared to, like, 06, don't, don't take me as, like, to, don't take that as me saying that the voice direction in, in 06 was brilliant or anything like that. It was awesome, the voice direction in 06 is terrible, but I just feel that it has a little bit, it's a little bit um, more polished in a sense than this game, but that's not saying that it's good. <laughs> I just want to clear that up now before someone, like, lashes out at me. Boy, you're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong anyway? But yeah, the one... One thing I do, I don't really care for too much in this game is that you do have to rewatch cutscenes quite a number of times, which, I mean, they changed it, the dialogue enough, uh, so, like, people say, people say the same kind of thing, but it's worded a little bit differently, or, like, in, with the fight with Egg Hornet, uh, Tails is the one that's, like, taunting Eggman instead of Sonic, so, it's a, there are some differences here and there, but it's pretty much, pretty much the same thing. Uh, and there are some cutscenes where almost all the characters are there, like, yeah, on the Egg Carrier, for instance, you have, like, Sonic Knuckle, well, not Knuckles, Sonic, Tails, Amy, Gamma, and, like, all the, yeah, all those four characters, uh, are in that little area, and you'll have to, yeah, you'll be, uh, watching those, those cutscenes there, four times, and it can get really tedious after a while. Um, and that's one thing I really, I prefer S, prefer about in SA2 is that, since there's only two, like, two major stories, not counting last story, uh, it means that, at most, you're gonna see cutscenes twice, which I think is bearable, like, anything past two is kind of pushing it for me. And it, the cutscenes just aren't that interesting to watch in this game. Like, they're pretty standard, they're pretty stilted. No, no, well, I don't, I don't know if stilted is the right word to use for it, but they don't... Not a lot happens in the cutscenes. It's basically just characters standing around and talking for a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Like, sometimes something will happen, but... Uh, nothing... It's usually nothing substantial. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird. My... Nose has been messed up for a couple of weeks now, so <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm just—it just happens when it's like hot outside and all that. Well, well, well. If it isn't Sonic and Tails. Yeah, see how how Sonic is like Tails is the one in front this time and all that and all that. One, what one thing I will say, one thing I will say about like uh, DX is that if you so please, you can actually press start and skip these cutscenes, which is something you couldn't do in the Dreamcast. So, yeah, if you don't want to, you don't have to watch the cutscenes four times or so, which is good. So, but like I said uh, in Sonic Story, uh, just I think. As, as age does the uh, dialogue and voice acting is, 
in this game. I still think it's a decent first attempt at like actual voice acting and, and like a story, a big story for a Sonic game. So I can't hop on it too. Hop, I can't hop it into hop on it too much because it is the fir their first attempt and it's a really old game at this point. So yeah. Anyways, though, this is the acorn if you remember from Sonic Story, and yeah, it doesn't. You don't really. There is no difference really from Sonic's version. The only difference uh, I can say is that you can't cheese this one. Uh, because Tails doesn't have a homing, homing attack, so you can't do that, just spam that. But, yeah, the only thing that really changes is that after every hit, he gets like, Eggman gets like a second barrage of missiles. But, besides that, it's pretty much the same. But, yeah. Uh, yeah there's not a lot to say about this fight, I'm sorry. I guess it's a decent. I guess Chaos Zero and Air Corner are decent tutorial bosses, because that's pretty much what they are. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why I did that, but it's funny. Oh, oh well. I'll see you guys after this fight. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of a waste of time trying to kill myself with that, but whatever. I didn't show. I didn't do that with Sonic, so may as may as well. Why'd you even bother taking out the Chaos Emerald, man? So look at that. Eggman can use the Force with the Emerald. Doesn't I, I swear I didn't even hit chaos. <laughs> yes, 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 it's really happening. Just the stone tablet said it would. <laughs> Hear this, Sonic. Chaos strength increases every time I can hit a chaos emerald. All he needs is seven emeralds to become invincible. Then he will turn Station Square into rubble. Upon which I will build the ultimate city, Robotnik Land. Okay, I am back. I don't know if I resolved the issue, but we'll find out momentarily. Because, yeah, I, I hate it when my capture card does that. I don't know why it does that. It might be because my computer's crap, but uh, either way. Yeah, the, the thing with Tales' story is that it's, most of it is kind of pointless. Like, the um, majority of the time, it's just Sonic's, like, half of Sonic's campaign. And... You're going through the exact same stages because, as you know, in Sonic Story, uh, Tails was with us most of the time. So, yeah, like four of the stages are for. Uh, actually, no, if you count the Sky Chase levels, because yes, you do that again here. Um, there's like seven stages. No, it's like, yeah, I can count. No, it's six stages where it's like Sonic's. It's uh, from Sonic's campaign, basically. So, most of, most of Tales' of story is a little bit, is, yeah, well, it's not a little bit, it's really pointless. Um, it's just kind of an excuse to have Tales as a playable character, to be honest. But there is there are a couple of 
uh, well, by a couple I mean like two uh, levels where it is just focused on Tails, and yeah, like the that's I I I prefer I um, like the Tails story more when it's when it's like not fro based on Sonic's uh, campaign, but yeah, it's kind of hard to change it when Tails was following Sonic for like half the half of half half of Sonic's story. But either way. B.I. Yeah, okay. Wasn't too bad. Camera, what are you doing? Yeah. The training headed All right, and now we have to go to Casinopolis again, I believe. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, the thing of tells the story is that it's really short as well. Like you just, as you could, as you saw, you just basically race Sonic to the Emerald, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the levels are really, yeah, again, really short, so you you can easily blaze through this story with no issues. And this, it's not like there's a lot of like p hidden power-ups in the hub worlds either. There's only the one that lets you fly fast that I found at the start, and then there's one later on which you can't. You can only get, uh, you can only get at a specific point. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not a lot to tell the story, but I, I, I do enjoy his gameplay, like just flying around in a 3D environment, and it, it like like Sonic with uh, the spin dash and the physics and all that. This is a pretty a uh, faithful recreation of how Tails works in the uh, the 2D games. Like you, he uh, was a lot easier overall that, uh, than playing as Sonic or Knuckles because you can just fly over a lot of obstacles, and they made it so it you still feel like the uh, the I guess the overpowerment of like being able to fly over over things, but it's. Most of the time, anyway, it's not overpowered because you, or not too uh, ridiculous because it does run out. But the thing with this game, though, is that you, if you like, keep uh, descending, uh, Tails will never get tired. Like Tails doesn't get tired from going down, and I, I, I believe he didn't. Uh, why well, I, I think he didn't. I think he got tired by doing that in the other in the 2D games. Could be wrong though. Ah! Do the chaos emerald, chaos emerald, chaos emerald, 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 emerald. Eggman, uh, Eggman got, Eggman got one of, Eggman got one of them, man got one of them, got one of them, got one of them, a button of them, a but the other, a but the other one, a but the other ones, a but the other ones safe, but the other ones safe. You must be getting desperate. Now the emerald count is two to one, and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on. And like before, stream. Because why not? And yeah, the thing didn't fix it, so.